Hello everyone. So here is the general daily reading for the 5th of August 2015. So this is for anyone this reading is for. So just a general full spread. All right. So let's see. All right. I'm going to cut the cards and have them face you. And you can always contact me for your own personal reading. So, so here we go. We're going to cut it to the left, and it's going to be your left. The main issue that's going on right now. What could help it aid? And then we're just going to go all the way around this way <laughs> and this is seven <clears throat> eight nine ten and then you're also going to get an eleventh card so two final cards ten and eleven that's how we do it so the main issue for today wow is definitely death transformation wow so maybe you'll have a news of some kind of change let me yes some kind of change okay and I shuffle these cards up I really shuffled shuffled all right and then this one the next card which is what would help the first card is n not is the six of cups and I shuffled shuffle these cards so um, so this card is basically saying the six of cups is that really you can't protect yourself from what's about to happen it's going to happen what could ground you right now is the eight of cups and the eight of cups is saying that time alone to think and really ponder over before you make any decision so whatever transformation for the first card that's going to happen make sure that you think it through is what this other card is saying the eight of cups okay and this, the second card, the Six of Cups, is saying, hey, you really can avoid this. It's just going to happen. So they're falling in together. So it's the same general message. And I set the intent, not for me, just for the day, the general message for the day and for anyone out there. What can you keep in your mind? Ace of Staves, okay? is really reaching out for your strength, your fire. Okay, this is a fire element. So you have the cups for emotions. We started we started out with a major arcana, death, transformation, change. We had the six of cups. We have the eighth of cups, so two cups, strong emotions. Then we have fire. You're going to find your strength. Your mind is going to remain powerful, remain strong. So I want to make sure you don't get the light, the light glare. You can, you can see the card, okay? Your past was page of coins. So the your past was maybe not a lot of money as you'd wish you would have. Um, maybe also starting a new career. Okay. Maybe really not having as much information as you can. And now the four of coins for the future is saying that you're going to be wiser with money. You're probably going to not sh be as sharing as you are. So I'm taking this more in a positive way of even um, coming into some inheritance, maybe having more money because of whatever transformation you're going to have. You know, maybe someone passes, maybe there's a transfer, some form of transformation. So you'll come into some money and you will use it wisely, hopefully. You're hoarding it, protecting it. But I feel like, let's see what the second card is. Okay. So, wow, this is some story here. So the four of coins is going to be your future. And it's going, when you come into this money, this is going to be a, a lot of arguments. So this is making me feel like this is someone passing away and a lot of conflict about the situation. So this is a 10 of swords. And when I do a personal reading, the seventh card is how you view yourself. So maybe you view yourself as a victim and um, just coming out of that victim uh, conscious state of mind, but 
you know, not holding on to that energy going, oh, I'm a victim, I'm a victim. But you can recognize the negative and say, okay, yeah, this is real, okay? This 10 of, I'm trying to see if I can block that glare. So there. So this 10 of, Swords is saying, okay, yes, you were, it's about lying, betrayal, someone not telling you the truth. So whatever, if you have to do any kind of paperwork or or if you are seeking advice, just be very careful. And uh, you can be nice, but don't come off as really meek. You really need to be completely present and, you know, just have in your own personality. I'm not saying be mean, but make sure that you find your strength and a and a good portion, a good balance of language and strength and so forth. The eighth card is how others view you. And we have the hermit. So maybe you're not a social person. Maybe you're not social at all and you pretty much keep to yourself you ask a lot of questions you like to research stuff and even if you're not like that be more like that be more inquis inquisitive ask questions okay because this is going to be very important really study up so if you have to sign any papers and anything like that get a second opinion the ninth position is your hopes and your fears king of swords you're you're afraid that you won't be wise enough strong enough to handle this situation and just cancel those thoughts out don't fill your mind with negative things really cancel that out you know you can know your weaknesses but you also have to then focus on what will make you stronger so focus on that this king is is really one of my favorite kings in the deck he's like the wise older king okay and he's all about transformation protecting um, strength wisdom true wisdom okay so make sure that you remain positive and not fill your head with any worries because that's not going to help you in the end you know and from where what the cards all the cards right now let's see we have a lot we have two two swords so far but it seems like we have it's a balance of of both one two two cups so far so there's no nothing standing out so far we have one two two major arcanas now we have and the major arcanas in the reading is a definite so yesterday we had the death card as a second card right and today we have it as the first card and the six of cups was in the reading yesterday and so was the eight of cups so it's still telling that story in different spots but the energy is still the same so the tenth is one of your final message and it is the hierophant card what it what this is saying generally to someone out there is that gather information and not show all your cards don't give away all your information because really at the table you can't really trust everyone because you don't know what their best intent is and I heard a joke that someone said in dating that you're, you're not really dating the real person you're dating their representative and it made me laugh out loud so much I was cracking up I couldn't stop laughing because it's like that's a great way to look at it so if this is a relationship kind of transaction, like a personal relationship, like marriage, or if it's a family type of dynamic, you know, relationship or it's work, this this uh, hierophant is saying, okay, there is is a bigger organization than you, meaning that maybe a couple of people have an agreement that you're not privy to, you're not aware of, you don't know about it. So make sure that you really don't divulge everything it's not about being in the negative it's really about <clears throat> protecting yourself okay and then the 11th card is so again it's it's um, I want to go back to the hierophant 
uh, the tenth card. It's about not being taken advantage of and really just being wise at the end of the day. The last card is the seven of staves and she finds this is a great ending. Both of these cards are both positive because the seven of staves is saying no matter how rough things are getting or if you feel challenged by a particular person or a particular situation, you're going to find your strength and find solid ground. Here she is in the midst of lava and she finds a rock to stand on and is defending herself. Okay, so I'm going to try to get the glare off of it as much as I can. So you see that. So I want to say thank you for watching this video and please contact me for your own personal reading. Please follow all the instructions on the website. I will be writing some more on the website just to be more informative for everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. Many blessings to everyone and just appreciate your life. I feel it's the overall message. Appreciate everything that you have, but also be wise about what you are doing. And, um, you know, life is precious, so value that. But also, uh, whatever transition you are going through, uh, remain strong and focused. And um, just be as wise as you can about everything. All right. So dot the I's, cross the T's. And uh, not move so much with your heart. You're leading with your heart first, but you're allowing your mind and your wisdom to double check <laughs> for you. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful, wonderful day.